Yo! Hello everybody and welcome to the Bonnie Z channel. I'm Bonnie Z. This week in the news. Let's go. Lots of things happening in Pokemon Go, which is super exciting. Um, Build-A-Bear has some, uh, an exciting bear that they've just announced. Uh, let's see what's going on in the Pokemon world. What is happening around the globe? Let's find out. All right, further updates to the 2024 Pokemon Champion Series season. Find out where this season's internationals will take place and learn about a huge boost to the Champion Series prize pools. We recently announced changes to the 2024 Pokemon Championship Series, including the addition of Pokemon Go to the Championship Points qualification system and adjustments to the World Champions qualification system. This time around, we're sharing additional details about the long-awaited increase to prize pool numbers at premier events, CB bars for the 2024 Pokemon Go Championship Series, and info on the upcoming International Championships. Prize pool adjustments. The International Championship prize pool is now over half a million dollars. Let's go. The world prize pool is now over $2 million across TCG, VGC, Pokemon Go, and Pokemon Unite. Um, for more details, there's links here. Just a quick mention, I'd like to thank all of the news articles that I'm going to go through today and all of the websites. Um, they can all be found in the description of the video and the stream once it's the stream's over. Um, I will update all the news links and I'd just like to say a big old thank you to all the writers and authors uh, for providing all this amazing information for us today. The champion plays in the Pokemon Go champion points bar revealed. The championship series all compete together regardless of age, so the CP bars for your championship qualification only differ by region. Um, the C below the table for the qualification CP bars for each and then we have the championship dates. So November 17th to 19th this year and then we head over into EC next year in the UK. So the first one's in Brazil and then there's in the United Kingdom uh, in London for April 5th to 7th 2024. And then we've got the next one after that is in New Orleans in LA. June 7th to the 9th, 2024. It's pretty cool. Uh, someone at the Pokemon company hates Regagagagas, and it's actually hilarious. <laughs> Regagagagagas, one of many legendary Pokemon introduced in Generation 4, doesn't need me to feel sorry for it, but the normal type Titan monster has been getting the short end of the stick thanks to its signature ability, Slow Start, since the debut in 2006. Let me know, guys. What do you think of Rega Gaga -ga 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 Do you like the giant rock man? I like him. I don't understand why don't people like him. <laughs> because he's meant to be a powerhouse and he's kind of not? I don't know. I don't know. So he has a 160 base attack stat and he's got respectable speed and defense. Uh, he's got a diverse move set, so I don't know why people are getting so upset about this. Anyway, I just wanted to put him out there because I feel like Rega -ga 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 gets overlooked a little bit. Uh, Pokemon Go adventures abound. What to expect in the new season? Let's go. Niantic has begun teasing adventures abound the next season of Pokemon Go. Here's what we know so far. With the season of Hidden Gems reaching its conclusion on August 31st, 2023, Pokemon Go trainers are now looking ahead to what's coming over the next three months. A teaser video shared on the game's social media pages features a silhouette of a mysterious Pokemon dancing to some music before showing a new logo featuring the name Adventures Abound. Because the logo is styled in a similar way to previous logo season, season logos, it seems safe to assume that this is the name of the next Pokemon Go season, which should run from September 1st to November 30th, 2023. Let's have a look at the trailer. Oh, hello. Oh, was that it? Oh, that was it. Okay, all right. Well, that's interesting. One of the upcoming bonuses is access to a special event taking place from September 10th to September 15th, 2023. This event is set to feature our four new Pokemon debuts, a bug type, an electric type, a flying type, and an ice type. All shiny Pokemon raids and increased encounters for Pokemon Go Fest 2023 global. Ticket or not, Pokemon Go Fest is all about the Pokemon you can encounter in the wild. 
While the event brings players from around the world together for a shared weekend of bonuses and fresh content, it is also a great time to hunt for shiny Pokemon, which might not be easy to come by. During the GoFest 2023 Global on August 26th and 27th, players will see a number of Pokemon appearing in different habitat rotations. This will change which Pokemon you see each hour and also ties into various gameplay elements like collection, challenges, and special research. If you are looking for specific Pokemon, you can easily locate them during certain habitats and try to catch as many as possible if you are lucky. You could even encounter a few shinies along the way. This link will contain other links. So all the information, all the encounters um, are in this link, all provided for you in this article. Build a Bear's latest Pokemon is Mimikyu. Aww. Uh, Build a Bear's popular Pokemon plush line this has this week announced the Ghost Fairy type Mimikyu as its latest addition. It's available online now to order in a bundle and will be arriving in stores soon. If you do go with an online purchase, you'll get a five in one sounds device, a hat, a bow tie set, and a cape and hat set. Oh, that's so sweet. That's so sweet. Mimikyu is really the newest Pokemon plush builder bear workshop. This adorable ghost and fairy type plush is now online. An exclusive bundle will arrive in stores soon. Pokemon World Championships showcase the ever-growing fandom of Pokemon. The biggest world event ever, the Pokemon World Championship in Yokohama, Japan, was probably the biggest event in Pokemon history. And it still felt like the event wasn't enough to contain the enthusiasm and passion fans have for the Pokemon franchise. Earlier this month, the Pokemon company invented... In invented. Eh. Invited myself, called Christian Hoffer. Oh, that's so cool. He got to go there. Amazing. I was, so, I was so jealous and envious of people that got to go there. <laughs> to the Pokemon World Championships, an annual competition-focused event that features the top players in Pokemon Unite, Pokemon Go, and the Pokemon Trading Card Game. And the main series, Pokemon Video Games. This year's Pokemon World Championship took place in Yokohama, Japan, marking the first time the annual competition had been held in Japan since the event was started by the Pokemon Company in 2004. Wow, so it was like 19 years. That's insane. To celebrate Pokemon's symbolic return to this, its country of origin, Pokemon took over the city of Yokohama with a number of official events and shows and numerous pieces of Pokemon pop-up art. Did you all see the drone show that they had? I came up in my... But the drone show was just insane. It was so cool. I think they had 650 drones. And they all made Pokemon lights in the sky. It was amazing. It was so amazing. Check the trophies out. Imagine winning that. Imagine having that in your house. Pokemon Masters EX's four year anniversary. Let's go. Red, Leaf, and Blue arrive with powerful new Pokemon partners and bring along a slew of special login bonuses. It's been four years since we first beheld the power of Sync Stones and joined forces with iconic trainers as a new saga of battling began in Pokemon Masters EX. To celebrate this milestone, trainers can get a 10 pair scout ticket and gems, as well as enjoy the fair exclusive five star select ticket scout and the debut of a brand new sync pairs. There's never been a better time to visit Paseo, so why not check out all this in store for Pokemon Masters EX Anniversary. New Sync Pairs, 10 Pair Scout Tickets, Fair Exclusives. Uh, it looks like the select Scout Tickets will be held from August 27th at 11 p.m. PDT through to September 14th until 10.59 p.m. PDT. That's that's a fair, like, two weeks. Let's go. Pokemon Go bans players abusing the XL Candy exploit in Roots. Uh, Pokemon Go players have learned that developer Niantic will ban anyone who is using the XL Candy exploits in Routes. Pogo users recently discovered an exploit that unlocks XL Candy at a shockingly fast pace with a bug in the Routes feature. Essentially, the exploit functions by eliminating the speed cap on Routes progress. Some waste of no time taking advantage running Pokemon Go and other third party apps at night while they slept. One YouTuber who helped bring the exploit to the public's attention claimed to earn 100 plus XL candies per hour. The jig is up now though, apparently Niantic has also learned about the scheme in response, <laughs> issuing bans to those who took advantage. So please don't do this, if you see it, don't do it. 30 day suspensions as well, <coughs> um, other bans have lasted up to 230 days. Further infractions could result in permanent bans. A message from Niantic warned. Presumably the severity of the punishment relates to how much XL candy was farmed during the exploit attempts. 
Fan Designs, 20 Amazing Pokemon Fusions. Let's go. I created Pokemon Fan Designs, 20 Fusions, including several classic Pokemon, and even fuses them with a few characters from other franchises. Ah, uh, yes. I should play this. I, I thought... Oh, I really thought there'd be photos of the fusions. Oh, here we go. Oh, that's actually kind of cute. That's kind of really cute. I kind of, I like that. <laughs> it's like a super pretty Vaporeon. It looks like a, um, like a region variant <laughs> of Vaporeon. Rapvern? What? Oh, I don't think a unicorn and a bat works. Oh, what's with the arm? One arm's a Oh, I don't, I don't think I like that either. Pokemon Happy Meal returns to McDonald's Australia! Yay! McDonald's Australia has officially announced the highly anticipated return of the Pokemon Happy Meal. Much to the delight of Pokemon trainers everywhere, this collaboration between McDonald's and Pokemon has become incredibly popular over the years. With Happy Meals selling out almost instantly, due to the immense success of previous collaborations, McDonald's is reintroducing the Pokemon Happy Meal in 2023. The trading cards will showcase various Pokemon, including popular ones like Pikachu, Pikachu Spigatosaur, Fukuro, Craxley, Corph, and Setatan. These new additions can be added to last year's range of cards, which included favourites like Growlithe, Rowlet, Victini, and Smurgle. However, it is important to note that this year's toy packs will not include the spinner that was featured in previous years. Okay, guys, what do you think? Should I make some content on the Pokemon McDonald's? What would you like to see? Would you like to see it in the form of shorts? Shorts, live streams, or long form edited videos? Which one? Which one would you guys prefer to see that would be more fun, do you think? Starting from August 24th, they yeah. lie. Liars! <laughs> Pokemon Match Battle, Happy Meal, McDonald's across Australia. It's like the 29th. This article got me all excited. Aww. Reddit theory sparks excitement for a Pokemon Black and White 3. Fans of the Pokemon franchise are eagerly awaiting the 9th generation, with rumors suggesting a potential remaster of the beloved 5th generation titles. The possibility of a Pokemon Black and White 3 has sparked a wave of excitement among players, especially after a recent post on the Reddit Pokemon subreddit gained attention. The original post by user Sayang7 delves into the lore of the Unova region, focusing on the story of its three main legendary Pokemon, Reshi Reshiram, Zekrom, and Karum. These legendaries were originally one creature controlled by two brothers, each with different ideals on how to utilize its power. According to the theory, the dragon was eventually split into three parts, one re representing truth, one representing ideals, and the third formed from the remaining fragments. The brothers sealed their respective halves into different stones, leading to a stalemate and a war between truth and ideals. The theory proposes an intriguing concept where the two sides of the war would race to find Victini, similar to an arms race. This could potentially add depth and excitement to the narrative of the Unova region, where the Game Freak decides to create a new Legends title or another sequel. Um, it should be noted, however, that if Game Freak chooses to create a direct sequel instead of a Legends title, Victini may not play a significant role in the plot. Despite being one of the most important creatures in Unova, it is unlikely to impact the storyline in a sequel game. As fans eagerly wait for official news about remakes or sequels to the beloved fifth generation titles, this theory has brought renewed excitement to the community. The possibility of revisiting the Unova region and exploring its rich lore has reignited fans' passion for the franchise. Pokemon Scarlet and Violet fans to get spooky Halloween merchandise! Let's go! Pokemon fans of the Scarlet and Violet versions can look forward to adding some adorable and spooky merchandise to their collection. The Pokemon Company has recently announced a new line of merchandise called Paldea Spooky Halloween, featuring Pikachu, Gengar, and various Pokemon from the Paldera region. These cute and spooky items will be available for purchase at the Pokemon Center stores in Japan starting from the 2nd of September 2023. For international fans who cannot visit the Pokemon Center stores, there is good news! These merchandise items will also be available for order on Amazon Japan shortly after the release. This means fans from around the world can get their hands on these delightful plushies and trinkets with a spooky twist. <laughs> from plushies to keychains, Fans can choose from a variety of adorable and spooky Pokemon characters to add to their collection. Yay! Alright, as we know, the Bonnie Z store is kicking. August prizes. Prizes for Pac-20, if you do not know. The latest Pokemon series in metal cards. The Pokemon letter metal, metal cards in the style of the Yen Note. And of course, the adorable Pokemon data cable protective covers. Um, the TCG displays... 
they were all sold out there are some have come back into stock I reckon these are probably definitely my favorite 100% so you grab a frame obviously the cards not included grab yourself a frame with your favorite trainer card and display it oh yeah we got Pokemon fans extra Pokemon merchandise fans yes let's go um, and I've got more to add to that one actually then I've got the content creator store for organization not just for content creators but also if you need to organize your desk space your work office space uh, i just put a lot of organizational things to make your life a little bit easier there'll be a starfield gaming store here next week club z if you haven't watched the video on all of the information regarding club z and the perks that you receive please watch the video it's on the website i've got my merch store donations membership information Twitch channel, I need to put my kick channel here actually. And if you'd like to become an affiliate partner for the online store, you can sign up to do that as well. Uh, we've also almost hit 1500 subscribers. Instagram is doing really well. I think we're just shy of 4,000 followers on Instagram. I'm now an affiliate on kick, so just need to get some subs in so that I can feed more money back into the channel and we can buy more booster boxes. Thank you everyone for staying and hanging, you early birds who like to watch the news.